Hey, y'all. Um, I can't say what, but I was laughing because I was reading a DM, right? And they was all like, yeah, you can tell this person just lying. They just want attention. And like I was cracking up because I didn't expect it. And then I hit live and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't read on camera. But what's up, everybody? We going to get into our last show for the rent party. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has blessed me. Uh, we almost at $400. Like that's how much y'all bless me. And so I probably shouldn't have said anything because now that I said something, people will be like, oh, you got enough. <laughs> <laughs> but what's up everybody let's go ahead and get started with the show let me go ahead and count us down oh i didn't mean to put that up sorry The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat, just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? And welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And yes, I'm your boy AT2. How everybody doing? How everybody living? How everybody feeling? Did somebody say crab legs? Hold on. Uh, don't be <laughs> Yo, they see me eating crab legs. And you're like, oh, I know why he got my money. <laughs> oh no, we still in court, Vegas. Yeah. We still got to be in court. What's up, Kay? What's up? Just curious. Uh, shout out to everyone. Um, let me put up the list right now because I'm going to keep shouting y'all out through the show. I felt bad that I only shouted y'all out one time. Like, I need to repeatedly shout you guys out because I y'all just don't know how much y'all have blessed me. And, like, when I first started this idea, I was all like, oh, don't nobody give a damn. But y'all truly show me like y'all do actually give a damn about me. So I appreciate that. Uh, so I want to go ahead and thanks to Heart of Inspiration, Marcella, Vegas Girl, Mina, Naughty Love, Juice Radio, Shauna, Patricia, Super K, Just Curious, uh, Mayasha, um, uh, Steph, our uh, cousin Stephanie, uh, and then uh, Debbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I appreciate every single one of y'all. So I definitely wanted to say thank you. And yes, hit the like button too, as well. So uh, I had to bring back uh, terrorizing the YouTube streets. It was a special occasion. So why not bring it back? And especially for um, today. But let me start out terrorizing uh, the motherfucking uh, uh, Judge Evie in HLC. Because first of all, <laughs> and remember, this is all love. First of all, they came late. But then, even before that, I, I had text, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Judge Evie, and I was like, hey, where, where are you at? And she was like, oh, I thought you, I thought we were going live on Station Head. And I was all like, Station Head? Like, now, I did plan on going live on Station Head. That is true. But the live on Station Head was going to be like a precursor to the show. But I was working on, like, the graphics and stuff like that. You know, the little pictures and stuff like that. So I didn't have time to do Station Head and then go live. But she was all like, oh, I didn't know we were supposed to do it on, uh, you know, we were going to go on StreamYard. And I was kind of like, uh, that's the whole point. You know, I dress up in the character and stuff like that. But, hey, <laughs> you know, she said she was hungover and stuff like that. She wasn't thinking straight. You know what? It, you know, you know how it is. Uh, what's up, Juice Radio? Thank you for coming. <laughs> <Don't lie. laughs> 
<laughs> right. We about to blame it on the Jews because they definitely had you feeling loose. But you know what? I will give your vet credit because your vet seemed like she like you could like your vet was making sense. The person that wasn't making no goddamn sense was hood life. Like I was all like, what the f is going on? <laughs> like <laughs> I was confused as hell. And then, like, I was trying to, like, switch topic and then switch over to this and that, and it just wasn't making any sense. And I was just all like, yo, like, this is going to the left. And then um, when she had mentioned uh, the lead attorney and the guy, uh, uh, Mr. Zuzu, um, I was like, oh, shit, I got to go ahead and end the show right here because... It's going to go all the way left. And I don't want to get caught up in the whole drama that's going on, whether it's real fake or whatever. I was like, oh, I don't want to get caught up with all that. So I had to make an executive decision. I was like, OK, we're going to end it here and then we'll come back and terrorize. And if anybody got anything to say, they can come on and say, what's up, Autumn's mom? Thank you for coming. Yeah. If anybody has anything to say, they can come on here and say it and not that show, because it wasn't supposed to be that kind of show, you know. Um, HLC, uh, HLC said she thought the show was over when she came. That's what she told me afterwards. Much love, hoodie. Oh, okay. She thought the show was over. No, no, no. Yeah, I ended it right on time because definitely, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't mind doing, you know, those viral moments and stuff like that. But um, I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to take it left on that show. Uh, I, I'd rather do that on something like this, you know. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the next thing, which is Miss Carver. So Miss Carver, Mrs. Carver is like this, uh, this sweet lady. Um, she, you can tell that she's very, uh, wise and like, she says hello to everybody. She greets her guests. She literally reads every comment. Usually that irritates the shit out of me. I'm just going to be honest when the YouTuber reads every single comment and then they be so far behind. Like if I didn't get your comment, I'm not going to circle all the way back to it unless you tell me to circle back to it, but I'm not going to do that. But with her, I don't mind when she does that. She literally reads every comment. She says hello to everybody. She greets everybody. What's up, Tony? Um, uh, the, she greets everybody and you know shouts everybody out. Like I really like her. She is she is dope. Uh, Chris, see, Chris, so Krusty was the one that put me up on game, but Krusty didn't explain how she was or like I thought Krusty was gonna like DM me and like give me some information because what I seen was a sweet lady that looked like she know how to make some sweet potato pie. That's what I seen. And so I did check out another video, right? I checked out another video and she was standing up, right? And she was all like, yeah, y'all wish y'all had this body. She was like, y'all want to talk about me having a big stomach. But she was all like, it's big in the back, too. <laughs> and she was talking about how she got an onion booty and all that. Like, she... <laughs> She was hilarious. And so from what I've seen, I didn't see anything bad. Um, I, I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't see anything bad. So from what I've seen, y'all turned me into a fan. See, when you tell me to watch somebody and check somebody ch channel out, you got to tell me specifically what I'm supposed to look at because y'all turned me into a fan. Actually, right now, while we talking shit, I don't even think I subscribed to her channel. Hold on. Let me do let me do y'all one better. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do y'all one better. Let me go ahead and make sure I hit that subscribe button and put on all notifications. So, Miss Carver, if you're watching right now, I don't think you are, but if you're watching right now, we are a fan of you over here and you are welcome anytime. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, let me subscribe and then let me hit notification bell all. She is a sweet lady, and she was over there showing off her body. You know, she, she it was a good time. It was a good time. Oh, um, y'all want the link to her channel? Okay. Now, I don't think she's the beef sector. Is she the beef sector, y'all? I don't think she's the beef sector. Okay, here she go, y'all. Here she go. Here she go, Miss Carver. But I don't think she's the beef sector, but... She she had now what I see is her responding back to people from the little bit that I've seen. I see her responding back. I don't see her attacking anybody. And you got to remember, shout out to all the old heads out there. Right. 
our old heads don't have any filter and they're going to tell you what's on their mind. They're not like us. You know, we have to be more careful and politically correct and stuff like that. But our old heads out there, they they at the age where we got to respect them for who they are and what they've been through and just respect it, you know. So that's the way I see it. It's her beef. Oh, okay. It's her own beef. Okay. She's not in the beef sector, but she just got her own beef going on. Um, yeah. And if, if she got to cuss somebody out, then that's all. Uh, shit. Sometimes I got to cuss somebody out. Shit. Like, let's just put it out there. Sometimes I got to. So from what I've seen, she was a sweet lady. Um, sweet lady, would you be mine? That's what I seen. I seen sweet lady. I, I didn't see evil woman. I didn't see witch doctor. I didn't see anything evil about that sweet woman. So if y'all think that she done did something bad, y'all just over there hating. I'm just <laughs> that lady is sweet. She is she remind me of sweet potato pie. Like y'all, y'all hating on Miss Carver. Like Miss Carver is a beautiful woman, and she just let me um bring up her profile real quick while we talking. As long as they don't play her video, I think we're good. Let me show y'all Miss Carver real quick. Hold on, let me let me just show it on this page. Cause she looked good in her red dress. Put on your red dress. And slip on your high heels and some of that sweet perfume. <laughs> Put on your red dress and slip on your high heels and some of that sweet perfume. Okay, here, here she go, here she go, y'all. Okay, here she go, right there, y'all. Yeah, but that's Miss Carver right there in the red dress. You see her? That is a sweet woman right there. Y'all over there hating on her, trying to say she a bad one. No, she ain't bad. She just misunderstood, damn it. Oh, I think that might be a negative video right there. Let me go back up. But yeah, that's who Miss Carver is, y'all. <laughs> y'all be hating and only saw one video. Be fair, watch a few clips. Right, right. You gotta, you gotta watch their whole history. You know, it's kind of like with me. Like if you see one video, you might be like, "Oh, I don't really like AT2." But if you watch like my whole history, you would, you will fall in love with AT2. What's up, Red Label? I don't know if I say what's up to you. Um, hopefully you're doing good. Uh, Miss Carver, Miss Carver, Miss Carver. Oh, you know somebody else that, um, well, this person says they're in the sobriety sector, but, uh, they, but they dibble and dabble in the beast sector. So I'm a little confused, but anyway, see, just, uh, right. See, shout out to let Miss Carver know y'all came from AT2 channel, but I want to talk about misunderstood. So uh, I was watching her channel and I actually asked her, I was like, hey, you know, I, um, I want to interview you. And she was like, OK, yeah, just let me know. And she said, email me. And I was like, OK, well, what's your email? And then she dropped her email. I forgot to save her email address so I can uh, email her. But then I was thinking, like, damn, why can't we just DM? <laughs> like, <laughs> not that I hate doing the email thing, but I'm all like. It, I don't think like like if I was going to interview a celebrity, yeah, I feel like yeah, we should go through uh um a what you call it email and stuff like that because it's supposed to be professional. But it's just misunderstood, and I'm not saying like she's below me or anything. I'm not saying that at all. So don't get me wrong. But I was just all like, damn, I think we can just uh DM, and then I think that'd just be easier. Like, hey, you want to come on or you don't want to come on? I don't know if maybe she wants to vet who I am and make sure that I'm a good person or stuff like that. But um. Yeah, I wouldn't try to get I wouldn't try to do any gotcha questions or anything like that. I wouldn't try to do that or anything like that. So uh, misunderstood if you're watching or if somebody sends this to you. I'm not trying to do any get you interviews or anything like that. We just going to ask you a few questions. Damn it. That's it. Nobody trying to set you up. Nobody hates you over here. If anything, we know some people over in this sector need to be sober. So maybe you can inspire some other workers to get sober. I'm just saying, damn it. What's up, Winnie? I don't know if I say hi to you or not, but what's up? Thank you for coming. Um, maybe she thinks she's a celebrity. That's what I was kind of getting at. I was all like, maybe she was like, 
because I know Tracy is her moderator, and I would think like Tracy would at least be all like, "Oh, AT two is cool," you know, blah blah blah, and then that would have been fine. But um, she didn't do that either, so I was all like, "Oh, okay, yeah," and recruit some folks, yeah, you know. And I think that's what um shout out to um Deirdre because. I remember when I was going through a tough time on YouTube, she actually reached out to me and was like, hey, I would like to interview you. And I was like, huh? And then she sent me a link to her channel. I was like, I'm from the B sector, blah, blah, blah. And she explained it to me. Well, as I understand from people in the B sector, they do kind of branch over here to like other black content creators that try to get, you know, more people involved in the B sector because, um, it's always just like the same people arguing and fighting. And then sometimes they get like a whole bunch of new people. And you'd be like, who the fuck are these people? So they try to get people with some kind of name and stuff like that, you know, and they try to get them over here. So um, I still do emails for my interview too, because it's easier to find, save and reply. Oh, juice. You have a, that's good. And maybe she wants to keep a record. I'm not against doing emails. I just kind of feel like when people are like reach out to me by email, I'll be all like, no, I'm the celebrity. I'm reaching out to you. You should <laughs> not to be cocky, but I'm just saying. I'll be like, no, I'm the I'm the celebrity. Like you reach out to me. But it's here nor there. I'll um I'll email her and reach out and see if we can go ahead and get her on the show. But I think that would be an interesting uh interview as well. And it kind of introduce you to some people in the beef, I mean sobriety sector. Um <laughs> My stuff gets lost in the DMs. Oh, I get some stuff lost in the DMs too, by the way. Yeah. But um, all in all, from the people that I've talked to from the beef sector, they're really nice people. Like their goal is to beef. That's why it gets so chaotic and stuff like that. But if you're not in the beef sector, they will talk to you with respect. They show you love. Um, they They don't, you know, go off on you or anything like that. That's why I was confused, like how some people got caught up with them. Like I know, um, never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to say it. No, fuck it. We're terrorizing. Um, I know Tracy and Toxic had their thing going on, and it was weird because Toxic does celebrity gossip, and so I don't know how she got mixed in with Tracy. I don't. I don't remember how that even started, but that's how I got introduced to Tracy because I was all like, "Oh well, who is this girl?" And I remember she was on the phone. And it wasn't toxic, but she was calling somebody's like bill collector or something and fig and finding out that uh, some somebody bill collector. And I guess somebody wasn't paying like they like bill. And so she called the, she called the electric company. I would say PG and E, but that's only in California. But she whatever the electric company was, she called them on the phone and basically was putting them on blast because they didn't pay their bill. And so, yeah, I knew from that point standpoint. You want to be a friend of her or you don't. Now, uh, Deirdre, she don't give a fuck. She will tear your ass up. She does not care. She got her foot on Tracy's neck. I love that, too. I, I love it all. I love it all. Even when it gets extreme, I love it because they all like, yo, this is what I signed up for. This is what I'm going to do. You either love it, you hate it, whatever. They know what they're doing over there. Oh, yeah, it gets scary sometimes. Like, whenever, like, I say something or I have a misstep, I'll be like, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean it that way. I clear that shit up right away. But trust me, some people think they want to mess with them, like uh, the rotted root. She thinks she want to go over there, but notice she didn't go over there. Like, once she got called out by Tracy, she backpedaled. The rotted root did not want no smoke. <laughs> by the way, they was talking about my... um. Uh, uh, no, not Deidre Dazzling. It's uh, Deirdre Helena Wells Djokovic. I think that's how you say it. It's something German, damn it. Um, let me go ahead and find her, by the way, so then you can, um, and hopefully I can have uh, Deirdre, da uh, Deirdre Dazzling on my show soon. Uh, remember she was on for the birthday special that I did, um, a couple of years ago, so hopefully I can get her on again. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop her link right now. And you guys can at her at Class Culture, by the way. Here's her link. Oh, whenever whenever I'm trying to find people.
Yeah, Deidre Dazzlin is the one that shows the clothes. Uh, she's uh, show uh, does plus size fashion and stuff like if plus size fashion lifestyle, um, that kind of stuff. That's who uh, uh, Deidre Dazzlin is. Uh, let me post her link. We ain't being no haters over here. If we mention somebody, we gonna share their link. If they're my friend, we're gonna share their link. Let me clarify. <laughs> Let me clarify that. If they if they are my friend, I will share their link. Link. Other than that, I'm not sharing anybody link I don't like. No, thank you. We are going to next talk about real entertainment. Um, how long I've been doing this for, uh, Tony? I've been doing this since um. Uh, twenty uh, May of twenty twenty. That's when I started. In May of twenty twenty. That's when I started out. Um, we're gonna move on to real because I want to talk about him for a minute and just give my thoughts real quick. Uh, what's up, Liz? Thank you for coming. So with real and and this is not a, a knock to him or anything like that. This is just me being honest and real. Uh, uh <laughs> notice I say real again. <laughs> Shannon, you going to hell. You are going to hell. But <laughs> I can't be laughing at people like, come on, Shannon. Oh, man. I love Shannon, though, by the way. Anyway, he is going at it with the 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 uh, the the road dog, road hog person. Um, also the Maria and then the other Cooter Brown people and stuff like that. I just wish that he would take a step back again where he was doing. Remember when, um, uh, before he started his YouTube channel, he would, he would come on my channel. He was very cool. It seemed like everything was going right. You know, he was changing, uh, his character and stuff like that. And everything seemed to be going good. Right. And then I, I don't want to say it's all on him. That's what I won't do. What's up, Robbins? That's thank you for coming. I won't say it's all on him, and he's the reason why everything went to shit. I ain't gonna blame it on him because those people are a lot too. Um, but it seems that you know they triggered him and got to him, and then he started the shit again. And I'm just worried that he's going to get to the point where his channel gets taken again. Right. Because I, my thing is like, OK, you can come on here and we can cuss each other out, yell at each other. That's fine. But when it comes to doxing people and then especially when it comes to you stealing money from people, when you steal money from people, that's a no, no. That's a no, no. You know what I mean? You can't steal money from people. Um, so I'm surprised, too, Liz. Exactly. But um, going back to real. Uh, I can't say it's all on him, but, you know, no matter what, him giving a reaction is still a bad thing. And what I mean by that is that sometimes you got to take a step back and you got to walk away. Uh, he cursed out the DoorDash. Wait, when did he cuss out DoorDash? Wait, who cussed out DoorDash? <laughs> Wait, did he cuss out the DoorDash? He's going to take a step back and involuntary if he doesn't check. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I just saw a clip. I guess his chicken sandwich was wrong. Oh, <laughs> is real watching right now? Let me see if I can play the video. Hold on, I'm gonna ask real real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not live right now, right? Let me see. Hey, I'm live right now. Did you cuss out? The DoorDash man. <laughs> you know I'm petty as hell. I had to ask. I'm I'm asking him. I'm asking him. <laughs> the DoorDash man. <laughs> Yo, he's here. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me drop the link. <laughs> Yo, this show is ridiculous already. I love it. I love it. Oh, he had you block um, Vegas girl? Damn, he pulling a Yvette? Okay, okay. 
uh, his whole life was cut off. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, even though I was saying, like, you know, I think that he needs to move in the more positive direction and stuff like that, when he goes off, that shit be funny as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The shit be funny as fuck. So when he go off on people, I be cracking up. I gotta admit that. And he knows what to do. Real has real has been in the entertainment business. Trust me, he's not dumb. He's he knows what he's doing. Oh, here he is. Here he is. What's up, Lefty? What's good? <laughs> so you cussed off the DoorDash man? I wouldn't say I cussed him out. You know? <laughs> maybe maybe use some foul language. Basically, it was the uh, <laughs> operator. He got my food wrong three times. And I was trying to do a live review on a Popeye's black and chicken sandwich. Yeah. Well, I couldn't start my live until the food got here. First time it got here, they gave me uh, chicken strips, five of them. I don't want this shit. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't order it wrong? No, I didn't know that. Okay. okay. <laughs> he don't listen, cuss them out. He listen, ordered. Them. <laughs> listen, I get, I get a, I get a lot of uh, thanks to my subscribers. You know, I get a lot of. Uh, DoorDash gift cards and Uber Eats gift cards. So I use it pretty frequently. Oh, question for you. Can someone order you DoorDash? Because someone had said, like, oh, I know a YouTuber that gets, like, free food from DoorDash. And I was like, I don't think well, you can I do that he, unless you got somebody's address, right? He uses a different company, and they order through the company, and the company sends the food to help. I forget what company that is, though. Oh, and no. I never stole, I never, AC, so I never stole no money from nobody, ever. Right, right. Oh, and when I, I said that, that, I was talking about the road hog guy. I wasn't talking about you. Okay, because they people trying to say that I scam my subscribers. How? Oh, if, no, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. You know, because you know I, about the, the the baby, the fake baby. That's what I was talking about. Because did those people get re refunded for that? But no. moving on. <laughs> yeah. Did. So <laughs> but the, the <laughs> thing was that that people was trying to say that I scammed people out of sixty dollars for Thanksgiving dinner, but I went to Buster Market. I just didn't post it on YouTube. It was posted on TikTok because my followers know how I roll. I got a I got a system here what I got going on. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And if you and go then, look on there, you'll see it. Yeah, and I did a show about, you know, the quote unquote beggars and stuff like that because I was all like, you know, only give if you have it to give. No matter if somebody going to use it to go smoke some crack or something like that, you gave it. So at the end of the day, boom, unless they specifically are lying to you and saying, like, I, I'm i going to use it for this. But really, I went to go do it for that. You know, like, uh, come on now. Um, I mean, people mad. People mad because uh, the, the reason why I blocked her is because when those chicks was up here from the other community, she was riding with them. And she see me in your chat every day. Hello, hi, smiling in my face. But then some other phonies come around and you jump on me. Get out of here. I ain't with that. You phony. Get out of here. Well, no, well let me you clarify I mean? something. I think with Vegas and a lot of people, it was kind of like the, the whole point of the show was flipping and changing. And they just wanted to progress on Cooter Brown. But me saying I apologize, how you tell me don't talk to don't talk to Jules when I'm apologizing. So so I'm wrong for apologizing. And I'm like I don't I don't get that's that's why I block Vegas girl. Because you obviously ain't on my side. You see, I'm trying to make peace here, and then you're gonna say don't talk to her, and I'm apologizing. I don't think she's on any side. I think yeah, the only yeah. side she's on is my side. Like she ain't on that's any fine. side. Well, well I, I don't want to know where they yeah. I, I but, just blocked it. I just did the, the best thing. And then she go away, I go mine. Anything oh, wrong with that? Okay, but she's unblocked now because she can see you or no. No, she sees me because I'm on here. I, I don't want nothing to do with her. I ain't unblocking her. Okay, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure she's cool with that. Like, if you don't want anything to do with her, I'm pretty sure she, that, that's, she's not going to cry. Vegas, are you that, crying? That, Let us know. AT2, is that not phony? You, you smile on my face every day, and then when these people come in, you see I'm apologizing. You're going to say, No, because she wasn't her? on their side. It was more about changing the whole vibe and what was going on. And so she was more, and she was more or less saying, like, Yo, like, go ahead and drop him and then continue on with the show because the show was the, the show went to shit. Let me tell you, that show went all the way to shit. You know, even after you left, it went to shit. It was kind of like, but but, but right, here's how I look at it. If I if I'm here every day supporting you and riding with you, AT2, and these people ain't never here, and then they come here and they riding on me, and it's like, 
there's nobody supporting me. It's like, how, how am I supposed to look at y'all? You know what I mean? But that's a conversation for them, not for Vegas. But Vegas and was the one. And, was, and all she did was time you out. No, no. What Vegas girl said to me, I don't know if she did time me out. What she said to me when I said, you know what, Jules and, and, and Misty, I apologize. She said, don't talk to them. I'm making an apology. Like, what do you oh, want me to do? No, that's Am because they said they didn't, they didn't want your apology. But I never said nothing to him after that. So why would she tell me not to talk to him? I never said anything after that is what I'm telling you. HT2, I ain't no liar. You know me for a bunch of things, but you don't know me for lying, right? Now, if you just said, I apologize, I highly doubt she was all like, oh, my God, that's the worst thing ever. Let me time you out. No, no. See, I don't I don't know if she timed me out is what I'm saying. All I know is what she said back to me. I don't know anything about a timeout. So I don't I can't speak to that because I don't know that. Okay. All I know is when I said I apologize, she said, don't talk to them. What the, so what the fuck am I here? What am I here for? <laughs> Okay, well let's really? let's go ahead and move on past that because this is gonna go left again, uh, aka lefty. But I wanted to because what I was saying, I don't know if you caught it, but what I was saying before was that you are uh, going back to your old ways. Here's what I want to ask you: How much does a person got to take before they before they snap? How much do how much good you gotta do before you got people always banging down your back? You ain't this, you ain't this, you ain't this. At one point, you're gonna have to start showing people. You know, now I've shown the growth, I've made the moves forward, but I'm not a punk. I'm not gonna sit here and let people keep doing this and doing that. People saying that people ain't stepping up and saying nothing, people ain't having my back. I got to have my own back. So I'm wrong for having my own back. I'm supposed to be quiet and be a mouse and be a punk, but I'm from the hood. And, and I want to do some other things, but I'm trying not to. Well, no, you don't you have to be a punk, but at the same token, you are not going to have those chances to come back again. Like, let's be honest. Like, let's put it out there. You ain't gonna have the chances to come back again and again and again. Like, what I've I've felt I've I've done everything to TOS. But real, your stream got shut down in the middle of it. Like that didn't like they they. So, I don't know how that happened because your the, shit got shut down in the middle of it. Yeah, and they gave me a little slap on the wrist, a warning. <laughs> okay, well, shit. If you want to call it a little slap on the you wrist, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get you gotta get three strikes. That was I got a warning. It says for bullying and harassing, and at the end of the day, me whatever I gotta say about mugs is what I gotta say about mugs. Mugs try to put me behind bars. AC2, you don't know what that feel like. And if it was you, you'd be the same way, riding on her. Did I dox her? I don't think I did. But if I got her address, and I would drop her address <laughs> on Reddit. Oh, I don't care. Wait, you would do, wait, so you would put her address yeah, out there? Yeah, I'm, address. I'm just going to do some legal stuff so I can't do what I want to do. But trust me, what I want to do is what I want to do. That's between me and you, though, ET2. Okay, so... And I'm taking the legal action to get her, against her. Okay. So that's what I got the address for. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So if you're going to take legal action, then that means that you're going to move on from all this. Yeah, I'm, I've been doing my... Again, y'all don't watch my content. I've been doing my... Trying to do my food reviews. You know what I mean? Um, I just did an interview with uh, Soldier P. That's on my Patreon. I did that tonight. Uh... Was trying to do the black and chicken food, but Ruben, that went south. But I think I got yeah, some good because you cussed out the. <laughs> I didn't actually cuss them out though. What it was is I was talking to the operator, not the DoorDash person. That I wasn't even talking to the DoorDash person. They just bringing the food. You know what I mean? Okay. I was talking operator. to the actual company on the phone. You know what I mean? And they wouldn't refund me for the order because they had already refunded me for the first mess up. You understand what I'm saying? So okay. it happened two times. Like, if you look, if you look, my live was scheduled for like three o'clock. I didn't go live until five o'clock because they messed up the food so much. That's not my fault, and I'm explaining it to them. But they're telling me they have a policy that they can only 
issue uh, immediate refunds up to two times. Then you have to wait 24 hours for somebody to call you back to see what the problem was. The problem was the store kept giving the wrong food. Right, right. They kept giving like, the wrong imagine, food. Imagine, okay. imagine ordering something two times and they give you the wrong food two times. You're like, what the? Come on. And I called the DoorDash person and told him, check, you can check my food. I need the food to be right. What I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a food review. How you gonna do a food review with a classic chicken sandwich? I've been reviewed a hundred million times. Am I right or wrong? You probably don't review the classic chicken sandwich. So this was all over a, a chicken sandwich. <laughs> what the, the, the phone call or the live? No, the uh, just everything, like the whole the the now thinking about it, it was all over the, view, the chicken the sandwich was bro. For, for the but black like, and I wouldn't have went live and like was cussing at the door dash. I probably would have did that. <laughs> no, what I did was I, was I just was on the phone with the call. Hey, and talking to my subscribers because I couldn't keep them on. Oh, they already been waiting two hours. Yeah, so but just voting? Nah, you got to go watch it. It's great content. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely going to uh, watch it because I, I want to know because the way you're making it seem like, oh, yeah, I was just talking and then, you know, it was fine. And then everybody else was well, like, I no. Lot, I a lot of times. People, 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 yeah, I did cuss. I did cuss. You know what I mean? When you okay, get frustrated, so you, sometimes you use cuss word, you know? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't expect you to use any other language. Like, you know, you we know? said, we know. I mean, but... I think at the end of the day, people are trying to say I'm frauding people and all that. It's like, there's no way I'm gonna get a gift from Amazon mm -hmm. and then return that gift. Is that what you're accused yeah. of doing? Yeah, I'm, I've been accused of doing that. I've been accused of stealing money. Like, how am I stealing money? People are mad that I get donations. That what the problem is. The problem is, is that people get mad that I get as much support as I get, and they don't. We got Rose Slop sitting there with 3,000 followers. He can't even pull in 100 views on a live stream. I'm doing Ooh. two, 300. I'm growing. I'm at 500 subscribers. I almost got my watch time done. I'm at 3,500. Oh, that's good. That's pretty quick, you know? actually. So the thing is, is that, like I was telling Jen Bell the other day, like I'm moving in a different direction. But again, I'm not no punk. Right. And I, I'm not going to sit around and just let people treat me the way. It's like, you, AT2, you're not going to let me walk up to you and smack you in your face. No. You know what I mean? You, 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 so, so why I got to do that? You well, know what I mean? That, that's the question I ask. Like, why I got to do that? Because when people well, come to me and say, oh, you're going back to your old ways, you don't see what's being done to me. You don't see how they pay money up for my address. How Roadhog just called my cell phone, and you know, and, and he called my cousin too. You know what my cousin told him? Oh wow, he called your cousin. You know what my cousin told him? No, what did your cousin tell him? Come to Philly, you won't make it back. Ooh. Go near left, and you won't make it back. I'm telling you. Oh, when I tell you AT two, when I tell you AT two, my family don't play no games. You know that from before, because you told me you the one said that dude is crazy. Ain't that what you told uh Rabbit? The dude is crazy. You <laughs> That's not exactly it. how it <laughs> happened, but you still got that live up, right? You still got that live up, right? I'm rebranding. Okay, so all in all, real. So, are you taking? Uh, let me uh, wrap this up. So, are you taking legal action against Road, Rody Road, Road? I don't have nothing to take legal action against him with right now, but Muzz, absolutely. Muzz, okay. absolutely. Okay, we hope that is successful, and then that will be the end because we would hate for your channel to get taken again. Oh, that rhyme right there. Is, I think the thing is, is that. People always want people to stand with them, but they don't never stand with nobody. If you see black content creators getting mistreated and getting dogged out, 
nobody say nothing, but everybody want everybody to ride with them. <laughs> no, I, I think weird. it gotta go both ways, though. No, I think it is when I I think both ways is yeah, it has to go both ways. But who, I think who, most who was the last people. black content creator that you supported when they was in some shit. I supported you. When, oh, when they okay. said you was doing that penal stuff, I stood up for you. How, no, that was not. How enough. long ago was that? that? Jacket on there. When else did you need me to stand up for you? You, you want me to stand up no, for you? No, no, no. I mean, in general. Like, is this your like uh, your fight? Like, oh, I'm going to stand up for all black creators that are being attacked and da 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 da. I stand up for who need to be stand up for. If I fuck, be if I rock with you, I rock with you. If I don't, I don't. You know what I mean? Because I think I look at because I think honestly, the conversation is okay. If I'm over here, if it's injustice, thing, if it's, in, if it's injustice, then we all got to stand up. If if if, if people if people are, are 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 trying to put out your phone number and put out bounties on your address, we got to stand up against that. No, but what I'm I don't want you to that if, hurt, I, if you know I'm I mean? over here in Connecticut and something is happening in Hawaii and I've never been to Hawaii, then there's nothing that I can do because that's I've never correct. been to Hawaii. That's, that's that would be correct because what it but, is is that it's a whole bunch of people that. A lot of us don't even know, like the the CM dude that everybody's talking about. I don't even know who that is, but I've heard a few clips, and I I'm all like, you. I don't want any parts of that because I can tell it's going to get motherfucking ugly. You know what I'm I mean? I'm not even worried about the mob two dudes. They just oh, uh, them okay. So, so just the mean. the main people that you I wouldn't even worry about them. You know? Okay. Like, well, this, definitely. This, I hope this, you this, get the justice that you feel like you deserve. And I hope that you don't get into any more shit and keep your channel. I'm trying to. I'm trying <laughs> All to. right, Lefty. Thank Let's you for coming Vegas on. Stay away from me. No, 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 no. Um, and and trust and Vegas girl already said that she she already said that she was gonna come to your channel and she already unsubscribed. So yeah, that 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 was pointless to say that at the end. But anyway, moving on to our uh, our content. So I wanted to talk about the Cooter Brown people. And this is just all of them in general. So with the Cooter Brown people, I actually unsubscribed and unfollowed a lot of them. And the reason why I did that was because I don't know who to trust and who's not this and who's not that. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like one minute they're fighting and then the next minute, oh, I'm going to make up with this person because they got some information I can use or information that I can uh, use for a lawsuit or they got information I can use to go after somebody else. And if somebody's a bigot, a racist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, all those phobics and racist and isis and all that shit, I don't want no part. I don't care what information you have for me. I don't care if you got, well, if you got a million dollars, I'll forgive you. But I don't care what information that you have for me. If you are this kind of person and that's all you're going to be and that's all you show, then fuck you. So for me, I unfollowed and unsubscribed from everybody because I was all like, I don't want to be a part of any of that bullshit. Um, it, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't help me. Um, there's no kind of uh, pleasure that I get out of that bullshit. I don't want to, I, I don't want any parts of it. And it stands against what I stand. It, it stands against everything that I stand for. So I don't want no parts. So um, all those people I unsubscribed um, and unfollowed, um, they're not blocked from my chat or fo from follow me on Instagram. It's not like that. If somebody wants to say like, hey, AT2, how you doing? And stuff like that. I'm open to those conversations. But as far as you being a justice warrior and power to the people and shit like that, that's why I did the, the power to the people. But um, as far as you pretending to be somebody that cares about those kind of things, just to then in turn do the opposite. Because let me tell you this. Let me tell you this shit. Unpopular fucking opinion, but it's the motherfucking truth. If they did not in turn 
if 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 Cuda Brown did not turn on them, they would have been okay with the racism, homophobia, and all that. They would have been fine with that if Cuda Brown didn't turn on them. But because he did turn on them, now all of a sudden they're against it and like they realize how bad he was. I'm sorry. He's always been a shitty person. This goes back to even before I was even on YouTube, which was a couple of years ago. Like he's had a history of this for a long fucking time. So that excuse, like y'all didn't know who he was and shit like that. You guys are playing a fucking game with us. And, and there's a special place in hell for you motherfuckers. Don't play with us like that. When I realized that Yahoo boy, um, fully stepped away when Yahoo boy stepped away, that's when I should have been all like, yo, there's some shit going on that's deeper than me. Because, you know, Yahoo boy, he has never flipped. He has always been like, yo, I'm, I want to get rid of this man. I don't want him here anymore. He's always been like that. I promise you, these people are going to flip. And when Cooter Brown is all of a sudden a better, quote unquote, person, they are going to go back to him. Why do you think there's a lot of them taking phone calls with him behind the scenes? What are you doing taking a phone call from him? Remember, I tried that back in December to say like, oh, you know, maybe we can help him with his racism, all that stuff. You know, when he called me and stuff, he called me. I didn't call him when he called me and thought that was going to work and shit like that. No, it did not. So and then he became even more belligerent and racist and all this other stuff. So why are you trying to then give him another chance, another chance for what? Another chance to be a dickhead? Why? And, th and here's my thing. I don't even think he's the worst person. I think they enabled him. And so he's been able to get away for, for, uh, with it for so long. They enabled it. We had 30 billion channels dedicated to getting rid of Cuda Brown. Is there any channel um, dedicated to getting rid of him now? No, because they either switch their content or it's about going after each other. So because they did that, it totally changed everything that was going on. And so at this point, it seemed like this man is going to be on this platform. So we might as well just get used to it. So what we can do is not watch it because obviously people are still watching. They're still trying to figure out what's going on and keep up with him. No, don't watch it. The way you get rid of somebody, you don't watch it. And then that's how you get somebody away. Uh, they push them to say what the, uh, what they want to say out loud. Boom, Shannon, you ain't lied about that. Right. And so, you know, he he's basically saying what they agree with, but they'll get on camera and pretend like, oh, no, I, I would never say that. Oh, that's not me. And then you go to Reddit, which I haven't been to Reddit because I feel like with Reddit, y'all should be allowed to say whatever you want on there. If it's bad, good, negative, different, whatever. Y'all should be allowed to say whatever shit y'all want to say on Reddit. So when I go, um, so I don't really go on Reddit that much, but I guess there's information on Reddit about how people have flip flopped and the things they had said and stuff like that. And, um, has AT2 done everything right? Because I don't want to make it seem like I'm a perfect person, right? Um, I don't want to make it seem like I'm a perfect person. Has AT2 done things that's been a little questionable and stuff like that? Yeah, I have. I mean, it's natural. Um, but I always apologize for it and I correct the behavior. Even when I made a joke about somebody recently, I was all like, uh, that joke can be interpreted as something hateful. So I actually did apologize. Some people didn't even know what the joke was, but I apologize for it and I haven't done it again. That's how you show change. So anyway, going to the um, uh, so it seems like there's a lot of infighting with each other and it's almost all like, let's fight with each other instead of going with the initial um, the initial cause of like trying to get him off of this platform. You know, let, let's fight with each other so we can create this drama because you all hear them say, oh, we just want to have fun. We just want the fun again. We just want to have fun. And it's all like, you guys were never fucking having fun. What fun were you fucking having? <laughs> What's up, Miss Ree? But they all like, we just want to have fun. And Mona, thank you for reminding me because I, I needed to bring them up too. Not in a bad way, but we got a few questions for Sip and Key. Um, 
but they always say we want to get back into having fun whatever happened to the fun and you're just kind of like what fun were they having like i i just want to know i just honestly want to know like i don't know what the fun they were having because this has always been you it's not like you were talking about picasso and then you went over to talk about the real housewives like no you've always been doing the whole trauma thing and uh, do, playing dirty doxing people and doing all this shit you've always been doing this you have never been a good person you've always been a shitty person and i think and you know what also had me thinking even though real, you know, he come on here, he be full of shit. He want to fight and argue and stuff like that. At least we know what we're getting. We know what we are getting with him. Um, <laughs> you just, you're, they say that kind of shit. Let's make you two fun again. What? It was never, when I went to your channel, it was never fucking fun. But um, yeah, but you know, real does all this, but at least I know what I'm getting with him. I think that's the difference. I know what I'm getting with him. He's not pretending that he's something else. He know he ain't shit. And so when he gets on here and says what he says and stuff like that, okay, boom. We already know what we're getting. Even when he came up here, we knew what we was getting, right? Nobody is shocked. It's now you may not like the things that he was saying, but nobody was shocked. With the other people, the other Cuda Brown people, They'll tell you what you want to hear, and they think ex the exact opposite. It's hustling. It's hoodwinking people. Um, it, it, it's 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 a different kind of fraud. It's frauding the people into believing that you are actually a decent person when you're not. That's the problem that I have, and so I had to unfollow and unsubscribe. It's no it's no hate over here. I just can't do the up and down, left and right. And um, anybody that associates with anybody, ignorant, racist, all this other stuff, I don't want to be a part of it. Um, so I throw up my hand. So um, as far as the Cuda Brown wine coolers, that's still coming. But as far as anything else, um, I'm done with all that. I'm done. I, I, I don't want to go through it. I don't want to do it. Um, I don't even want to hear it. I'm done with it. Um, what I do want to say about the, right. Okay. So it seemed like a lot of y'all have been feeling this way. A lot of you, a lot of you've been feeling this way, huh? Let me, let me ask y'all real quick. Let's do a 30 second countdown real quick. Put a one in the chat. If you've been feeling the same way I've been feeling, put a two. Uh, no, you still support the Cooter and uh, the Cooter Browns and Cooterville. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. Okay. Everybody else is feeling the same way. Like, what the fuck is going on? Thank you, Mona. All the flip flopping and arguing is so sad. I'm tired of it. Right. Tired of that. Yeah. We're done. We're done. It's stupid. It's stupid. And then I called myself uh, trying to make peace with a few people. And then I didn't realize in turn that they were actually, you know, working with Cooter. And then I was like, oh, I feel dumb myself for even trying to think that because i thought like me fighting with them was distracting from the message no these motherfuckers were already distracted from the message so what what the hell was i even thinking like why did i think that i could change and make something happen like these people are, are like narcissists you know nothing i can do for them and i i don't want no parts and so that's the way i stand now i want to talk about sipping key because i see it both ways with them so one, um, I I'm probably going to be forever blocked from their channel now. <laughs> they're going to forever block me now because they're going to be like, AT2 put us, and no, they're going to be like, ATV put us in the title. And first of all, they were the first ones to call me ATV, just like Perry was the first one to call me ATM. And now all of a sudden, everybody want to start using those ATV and ATMs now. And it was all like, no, they started using ATV and then Perry started using ATM. So they were the first ones to say that. But here's the thing with them. I get that they do commentary on it and stuff like that. Boom, boom, boom. And they don't want to be a part of the drama. 
I get it because I thought like me doing commentary, I was like the outsider, but they're pretty much OGs at this point. And so they should know anytime you are messing with the Cooter Brown, the Cooter, the, the Cooter Browns and Cooterville, they don't care anything about you. Oh, this is just entertainment. They don't give a fuck about that. You know they dox. You know they call the cops. You know they send shit to people homes and stuff like that. So you know what you're getting into when you mess with them. Even me doing this video right now, I know there'll probably be going to be somebody that reaches out to me and be like, AT2, I can't believe you did that. Da, 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 da. And I know because I'm expecting it. I put it out publicly, so I'm expecting them to say it. So with Sip and Key, they have to realize that, yo, the, the Cooter Brown people, they crazy as fuck. You know, there, there's a reason why I call them Cooter Brown, because they all, on, you know, they all do it all kind of drugs and shit, you know, putting cocaine in their ass. You know, they doing all that shit. So you messing with people that are on some shit. And so when they come after you, you can't be shocked. You know, you can't be shocked. Now, I know they did say that um, anybody that has been associated with Cooter, they are going to block. So I think that's the best thing for them, because having everybody be able to be in the chat at one time and stuff like that, that was awkward and weird. You know, it, it was just because it's almost like, oh, are you showing favoritism? Like there's people from Cooter, there's Cooterville citizens, uh, people, from, uh, Cooterville citizens that you like more than the other people, you know? And that that's weird to me, that there's people that you like more than the others. If if you think that all these people are all trash, you gotta you gotta leave them all in the trash. If you think they all trash, you can't say, oh, well, you're not filthy trash, you just trash trash. No, if they're all trash, you gotta keep them as trash. So, you know, you can't do that flip-flopping like, oh, well, these are good cooter people. No. As of today, I realize all the motherfuckers is crazy and they all are going to burn in hell. I'll probably see them in hell. We'll probably be next door neighbors, but they all are going to burn in hell. They're all evil people. Do not trust any of them. Like Mona said, the only person that I trust is Yahoo Boy. That's the only person that has not flipped. You know, he 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 uh he moved from Cooterville. You know, he moved away from Cooterville. That's the only person that you can ever trust. Once he was done with Cooter, he was done. He did not go back and forth. And he's been one of the nice people to actually try to help people and try to move stuff along. And then he constantly gets shitted on all the time. These, these people are criminals, racists. They've been in jail. They they've done they they all have like records and shit like that. The only thing I have is traffic shit. That's the only thing you can look up. But they done sold drugs, sold people, um, uh, robbed, killed people. They got records. So these are not people that you want to fuck with. You know, at the end of the day. But it is what it is. You know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, y'all. But that was that was my thoughts and that was my um, opinion on everything. And I just kind of wanted not that I needed to make a public announcement. It was just something that was on my mind. And I was like, you know what? Because it is my rent party. I'm going to go ahead and terrorize and let the people know the way I feel. And speaking of the rent, I do want to let everyone know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that has donated. Um, I'll definitely add you to the list if you did send something more recently. Uh, shout out to Heart Inspiration, Marcella, Vegas, um, Mina, Naughty Love, Juice, uh, Shauna, Patricia, Super K, Just Curious, um, Mayasha, Steph Collins, and Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, it's been really good. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, Miss Reed. It's been good. Um, I've had so much fun. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has blessed me. Um, it, it, it really made me feel special because, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. When I lost my monetization, I was all like, oh, shit, like this shit is getting real. And I haven't heard anything back from the appeal. Um, it's still going through the process and stuff like that. They said it takes between 14 days to figure out what's going on. But um, 
it, it, it's scary. I know, I know I'll get it back. It was just kind of like, damn, you dropped me at the middle of the month. What the f do I do? Oh, also shout out to everybody that didn't, um, I don't know if you guys didn't know how to do it. I thought I told you guys how to do it, but, um, if you wanted to get refunded, you can, they sent you an email. Um, some of you guys didn't do a refund and just decided to let me keep the money or whatever. So I want to say thank you to those people. Um, I, I hope it was more that than y'all just didn't know how to do the refund. <laughs> I hope it was more the latter, but you know, either way, um, I want to say thank you to um, all of you as well. And, you know, this Monday kind of starts to rebrand. And as I said, like I can try new things and try other things. Uh, this will probably be like the last terrorization um, of 20, uh, 2022. I, I'm not going to say we're never going to do it in 2023 because some might piss me off and we'll be back to it. But as of 2022, this is the last time. And, uh, we're just going to move forward with content and we're going to try new things, try stuff out and hopefully it sticks. And we're just going to, uh, rebrand. Like I said, this is the perfect time to do it as probably all my videos. I'm probably going to have to delete all my videos again and start over from scratch. But hey, it's just something that I got to do. And I love each and every one of y'all. And I just want to say thank you. This has been an amazing rent party. Uh, hopefully the rent parties, like if somebody is in trouble, we can kind of continue this. I think that would be dope uh, to kind of continue and just help spread love and um, help somebody out. You know, there's some somebody probably all like, oh, shit, I ain't got no food to eat. Let's do a grocery party. Let's help them get groceries. So you just never know. So I just want to say thank you. I love each and every one of y'all. But we out. Deuces. Deuces.